Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. You are on board Bad Boy 94 for race six of the 2019 Tornado Europeans here in Rimini, Italy. On board, as ever, is Swedish John. Yay! We're having fun. Okay, let's put it on the head. So the wind is probably, I don't know, about 10 knots. I'm tacking. Um, sea state a little lumpy. Maybe not even 10 knots, maybe more like eight. So it's not what we'd call our conditions. As we've discovered, our conditions are 16 and more. If we can double trapeze upwind, then we'll be looking pretty good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just get a bit closer to the committee boat, ready to uh, get the five minute signal. We've got a close up of Johnny's legs here. For the ladies, you know you wanna see that. Just putting the traver out a bit, just gonna park until we get the five minute. And then once we get the five minutes, we're just gonna sail across the start line in combat mode, so we can see how it's gonna feel when we start the race. So we're just parked here. People do like to sail past fairly close when there's absolutely no need for it. <laughs> It's all part of the game. So at this time it's good to know where the windward mark is. And what's quite handy here is there's two windward marks, which you can see, well, you probably won't see them on the TV, but they're over there. So our main strategy is going to be going out to sea, unless, there's so much traffic, it's gonna slow us down. And if that's the case, then uh, we'll just go the way that the traffic is less. I can see the hooter in the air. Some and there it is, that's the five minutes. All right, so we're gonna go and take a look. John, if you'd like to take your seat. Well, if you want to. Yeah, man. All right, so the start line is between the orange flag on the yacht and the orange flag on the boat down there. Yeah, so it does feel like could be trapezing off the start. So we said combat mode, so I'm just gonna go out, just have a little look, see. Just see how much power we've got. Uh, Johnny's adopted the standing stance. Right, four minutes, 11 seconds. So what we'll actually do is we'll come round the pin end. So we can see as we're going down the line, we're getting bent off there a little bit already. Yes, this is probably 10 knots at the most, I should think. All right, yeah, so just coming in. We're going to bear away Jai Brown. You right there, Johnny? Are you happy? Uh, lovely. It's one of my favourite times. Not as good as 2.30. Okay, there's... Jai Brown. And then what we'll do is we'll sail up the start line until we hit what, in the last race, I called it the wall of boats. Um, well, they can eye it up as much as they like. But... <laughs> 
they know who's got their towel down on it. Bad boy 94, of course. Um, yeah, so here we go. Yeah. Right, I've got a real blind spot through the window for Jib at the moment. It's important to be able to see because the possibilities for hitting another boat are pretty, pretty decent. All right, we've got the blue German boat of Joseph and Benedict there. So we're just going to come up. Yeah, I think we're just going to. How are we for the line? Pretty safe. So at the moment we are, there's one boat further down the line than us and that is the German boat of Marcus. Number two. The pack, like a pack of hungry dogs. They're just munching around there waiting to steal our position. Danny's going down. If Danny's going down, then down must be the way to go. There's Danny Pascalides. <laughs> live. Not live. Not live. <laughs> he is alive. If Danny's going this way, yeah, everybody's going to come, everybody's gonna come <laughs> too. Yeah. Danny just wanted to get on TV. It's probably what it is. Danny has got a good poker face. Yeah, we're pretty safe. Yeah, and there's Mavros, another Greek boat. Danny's protecting his position there by going down the line. We've got a nice gap above us. So we shouldn't have someone parking on top unless someone decides to come down now. Mavros is really not our friend at the moment. going to go low here because otherwise we're just going to be destroyed. Yeah. So it was Mavros who was sat underneath us there that stopped us from bearing away and hitting the juice. Now we've got a little clean window there we're going to try and hang on to. Hopefully as we get a bit further out to sea, there's going to be some more wind. We are suffering a bit here from dirty wind, but we'll do what we can with what we've got feeling that as we go further out to sea the wind should increase that is the theory so I'm favoring the out helming out on the trapeze position because I could be out here all the time which means that Johnny can do the the monkey work as it needs doing So we've got the pace on Marcus, but he's obviously got the, the 
the angle there. As Johnny said, we are going so much lower. Johnny's there to give us these um, inspirational morale boosting <laughs> bits of chat around the course. Um, it is true though, but we are going pretty fast and once we break out of Marcus's dirty wind, then we should be free till we tack and then we've got to do it all again. bit of space even though the wind's not very strong the boat seems to be going along it's going along just getting in a bit closer to the boat just trying to encourage this hull to lift there it is and then that's really getting the apparent wind machine working. When we get that in there, everything works better when the hull's lifting, which is why these conditions are really favoring the lightweight teams. It's not by chance that Danny has chosen a 16 year old crew who probably weighs about 50 kilos. That's light. Just having a look up here. Danny's just tacking there. Yeah, when Danny tacks, everybody tacks. But we're going to keep going just so we have the cleanest wind we could possibly have and more options. Because that wind has been bending a lot up here. Yeah, I think we'll keep going till it almost looks like we're um, sailing back to Greece. <laughs> Maybe we won't go too mad. We'll just go further than everyone else. Significantly. I like that. Right, we'll just... next bit of wind's just coming. All right, you ready? And here we go. Oh, I think that's I think that looks pretty good. So we've got some very clean wind here. Yeah, and there's well Australia number two have come out to have a look. We're not just going to bear away and start aiming for the mark at the moment. We're going to keep it going fast but high because from the last race there was a lot of wind bending as we got towards the mark.
but even though we're not looking particularly good position wise here it is certainly a lot more pleasant sailing down here in clean wind and looking like we're not going to have to do that the slightly ambiguous tack like 20 boat lengths from the mark where uh, with the way that the wind is changing it's very difficult to judge so we're just going to turn up at the mark slam one in and uh, get ready for the, uh, the downwind there we go, a bit more wind there yeah we're getting the hull out you can see the Aussies because they're lighter they find it easier to get the hull out you could argue what you're doing out on the trapeze then Patty um, <laughs> it's much more fun what's the point of wearing a trapeze harness if you're not going to use it it looks like here's Media One coming to say hello yeah it's the Media Boat they're coming in just to to have a look it's just looking good here the wind's getting a bit stronger say what yeah yeah yeah, yeah man I'm still I'm just keeping it high okay so I'm just gonna turn down a little bit here just gonna give us a bit more pace and we just got to find a place where we can slot bad boy 94 through here at the mark that's the famous Italian boat you might remember that from last year when we sailed underneath it when they were putting their kites up yeah we just need to find a little hole to slip through it's Jürgen, president of the association there having a noisy time check boats hit the mark it's just this Austrian boat we're looking at oh my gosh yeah I think we're gonna yeah I think we're gonna go behind and then tack Go pretty well actually did, did Johnny think that that boat hit the mark they're just gonna there's a spe <laughs> in fact I'll, we'll talk about that later so we're coming up for the hoist so tack line comes out here and then Johnny's gonna hoist that like his life depended on it and then we're gonna get it going nice and we're off downwind sort of fairly light wind mode here just trying to keep the hull up yeah, so there's a rule that I haven't come across before, but at this event, if you touch a mark, you can choose to either do your penalty or take a 30% penalty on your position, which means if you're coming 10th, that means you'd finish 13th. So if those guys, guys had have done a 360, they'd have definitely... No, I think it's 30% of the whole fleet. Oh, 30% of the whole fleet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, okay, that makes that's a difference. You first, then you can get nothing. <laughs> you get point like three. Point three. Okay, we're just getting a bit more wind. Okay, 
Oh, okay, man. Yeah, so we're going to keep picking it over here because uh, not that keen on the middle of the course. It's a shame you weren't on board yesterday because we had a brand new white spinnaker up, but she didn't make it. All right, we're going to go for the jive pretty soon here. Yeah, okay, let's go here. Yeah, it looks like the wind's gone a bit lighter. Just got to keep the pace on somehow. Okay, so this chop is really bad so I just wanted to power it up a little bit more to get through that Austrian boat has just sailed through us yeah I've, I've kind of got a yeah man yes yeah, so we're pretty close yeah, yes, yeah, so we're going to take the right, the right hand gate, go out to sea, unless there is heavy traffic, of course. All right, so we're just going to jibe around there. Hopefully that wasn't too early, a little bit maybe. Sheet out a bit. Okay, so here we go, kite comes down. Yeah. on the boat is how these lightweight people get to use their trapeze a lot more which is true it's true it's not a lie it's true so we go this is the start of lap two for those who are counting it's a three lap race three upwind legs three downwind legs that means three of each and then on the end of the last downwind leg we just go straight through the finish line between the committee boat and a yellow boy as soon as the start line. Just sticking the feet under the toe strap there for a bit of uh, security. You can't beat a bit of security. Might 
going to hook on just in case they did. Yeah, so we're not quite able to match the pointing of the boats in front. Yeah, I should go out there, dude. Just uh, give it the stretchy legs, get a bit of pace on. Alright, so we've got German 100 behind Austria. It's Austria number three or something in front. There's a gauge where we are in the fleet. Yeah, we're definitely not pointing very well. Nothing new there. We've just stopped. Okay, so again, we're going to ping it out wide for the mark because there's absolutely zero point tacking where we're gonna where we're gonna get dirty wind okay on the trapeze there lovely um, this it definitely feels like the wind's better out here maybe it's because there is more wind out here Okay, so we're just getting, as this wind is increasing, we're getting headed off a little bit. Yeah, we're getting headed a little bit more as the wind increases. Just going five, four, Three, two, one, and Lee Ho. <laughs> it's a little, that's not pumping, that's just adjusting the sail. So once again now the wind's a bit stronger, we can have one person out on the trapeze all the time. That's me out on the trapeze because as well as Johnny balancing the boat, he's also got a whole list of jobs to do. Yeah. Did anybody spot Johnny almost fell off the boat there? Leave it in the comments below if you did. We saw you Johnny. Yeah, it's nice, man. Yeah, so in this amount of wind, we just... It just seems that we're unable to match the other boats for um, pointing... A combination of pointing and speed on the upwind. Of course, we have got our air brakes on, a bunch of flowers coming out of the spinnaker chute. This is one of the drawbacks of only having two retrieval points. It means if we are going for a late drop, when there's pressure in the spinnaker, uh, it is difficult to get it all in. They moved it.
So there's the Austrian boat that we were behind coming around the mark. They tacked early and they've actually tacked again and we're going to cross them fairly significantly as they're coming up. I know Joseph, he's ahead. He's just, he was just out pointing us and going faster. Joseph is sailing a uh, Windrush, two years old, probably the newest tornado in the world. Not that that means anything, of course. Just because you've got a newer boat doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be quicker. But it's got to help, hasn't it? All right, so we've got the boats coming down with the kites up now as well. Uh, we're on port tack. They're on starboard tack. And if they get a big gust, they might just get a little bit excited. So out the way, please. Right, I think this might even be the same Austrian boat that we went round here with last time. They're going pretty fast. We're gonna to have to just stick it in behind them and then tack. So even though it's a short leg, just gone out on the trapeze to try to get the boat up to speed as much as possible. So we're not going to take this line down, we're going for the bear away. Adopting a high wind bear away stance, just because uh, that stability is pretty handy. And now getting into off we go mode as soon as possible here. Yeah, man. So we're kind of approaching the ley line for the gate. We've of course got one more lap to do after this one. We can use the other boats as a fairly decent gauge for when to go. Yeah, we'll go, I think we will. Okay, yeah, we'll go now. So we're going here. Right, this is jammed.
we can keep this going we're not looking too bad for the gate here we just try to stay as low as possible but with the pace on which way would you go here leave it in the comments below would you go left would you go right we're going to go the way with less traffic that's a nice gust we'll take it this wind really is getting lighter here now and we're just getting these little blips of acceleration off the waves which is causing the kite to collapse Out to sea. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, yeah, man. So, yeah, sure. Ready? Yeah. Okay, don't drive it quite, drop it quite so late this time. Okay, so last upwind leg, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing out here. position here is somewhere in the middle of the fleet here we go so just getting popping the hull out there a bit wind's got a bit stronger stretching his legs might get to the next position myself yep
we've just got one more time around the windward mark here and then heading for the finish. Unfortunately it looks like the boats in front are getting away from us, we just can't match their speed. Johnny's shaking his head in disbelief. Um, but what can you do? You can lead a horse to water. To coin a phrase. To coin a phrase. So although things aren't going so well just now, this is still the Good Vibes Express as we're about to be shouted at by two boats coming downwind. Let's see how we're going to deal with this. We'll just head up a little bit to let this one through. bearing away a little bit to give these guys some space for a bear away if they need to. It's a little bit of a sketchy place to be under a boat with a spinnaker up. Maybe on the last downward we should go looking for some drama. <laughs> if you can't do well in the race, you might as well find a bit of drama. Um, uh, uh, yeah, well we have to wait for someone. <laughs> we'll wait for the drama to catch us up. All right, so we've got one last tack here. We won't tack too soon and hit the mark. That would be too much drama. Okay, so we're going around here. Just got snagged somewhere. It's a bit of drama. Okay. And there we go, getting a wide stance on here for the bear away. That rabbit is going up the drain pipe like a spinnaker going up on Bad Boy 94. And we'll say something encouraging like, nice one Johnny, that was a great hoist. Um, Cause uh, the good vibes on the Good Vibes Express, they never stop. Even when we're faced with such disappointments of not doing quite so well. I'm trying to encourage the traveller to go out a bit there. Traveller's not too keen. No, it's staying in the middle then. Uh, okay. So we go, we've adopted quite a light wind stance here as the wind is uh, quite, quite light, which makes it fairly appropriate. Well, we got some good pressure here, good speed, excellent VMG, and a lovely blue spinnaker. If we can keep this going, it does look like we got, we're going better than the boats in front, which uh, will take that. It is unlikely that we're gonna catch them, but we can hang on to the hope that we might catch them. The boat behind us is certainly looking fairly safe at the moment. We'll just try to keep it that way. We won't try not to do anything silly. Losing us that position. 
Johnny's moving back, which means I'm moving back. Important to keep the weight directly opposite. And we for the gate there. Oh, it's the finish line we're going for. Is that a good spot, Johnny? Should we go? Yeah. Right, let's just get a bit of speed on. I'm waiting. Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay. Something just twanged, but uh, I'm sure it was nothing. I've said that before. I don't know. I just, uh, I think we should be all right. You might have to come up to windward. So maybe we jived there a little bit late, but now Johnny's come up to windward. It looks like it was about right. Um, does mean we can come in with a bit more pace. Yeah, so it looks like Marcus just lost a position there. He won't be happy. Okay, and we're just coming up to the finish line. And there we are going across the finish line. Sweet, now we can go in and forget all about it. Yeah, so um, in some boat races, when you finish, you get a reassuring honk to say, yes, you finished, but not here, no reassurance here. They'll keep you guessing. Oh God, was I over the line at the start? Uh, do they just not like me or something? Um, all of those things. Honk at the start, that's great. No honk. He's, he's gone a long way.